Yes. Oh, yeah. Do you reveal the album artwork today? Yeah. What time's that going on? Uh. <laughs> Ten? Ten. <laughs> Can you pre order it today? Yeah. Yeah, you can do everything today, Our new album, So What, will be released March 1st. Does that make sense in English? I just put So What, March 1st. <laughs> That's better, Matt. Well done. Okay, I'm going to click the button, Matt. Okay. Pre-order now. Makes sense. So What, March 1st. Pre-order now. Oh, shit. I've done it! I think I'm going to try and do my best to be as anti-comment as anti reading as possible, because they're too fucking... Like, they'll get you, and it's just some like 14 year old kid at home, do you know what I mean, on a computer. Do you think it's because you've been quiet for so long that. I want to read them. Apprehensive. I think so. You just don't know if you're a band anymore. No. You know what I mean? It's just difficult, Ross. Ross. It's difficult to know what's Ross. Ross. It's just difficult to know what's Ross, you know, Ross. That makes me feel really good. Can we ask you some questions? Is that okay? Can I be lifting things while you do it? Yeah, that's the point. Physical activities eat my mind and make me feel that Check, check, check. Oh, no, 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 Check, one, two, three, four, five. Fuck this shit. Hello. Thanks, Hello. man. Yeah. What's the purpose of us being here? To make, like, a non... a non-band doc of how everyone sees a band, or, like, an album doc, I think, is trying to make something that people, like... I don't know, give you, a, give you an inside the room insight, not a camera insight of how studio goes. That's, that's the phrase, that's been, in, that's been in the chat for ages. Fly on the wall. <laughs> I'm strapped up to fuck because my arms are falling off. Just in perspective, a normal hand doesn't have that mountain on it. It's not that bad now. So that eases up. See about pre roll? Yeah. Should we see what happens? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, Carl, let's turn click down a little bit. You have the stain on your way. Mm hmm. Cracked a rib on you, are we? Because I did my full drum takes with cracked rib. Because I'm always in some sort of pain recording drums. We were saying the other day, it's just pretty shit that I have to go through. I ain't just had one. I think I've had one album, maybe this is six, where it was just in total pain. But this kind of happens every album, and then it eases up, like, five days in or whatever. But this knuckle, man, it's just causing me so much beef. Symbol accents is hard. Okay, yeah, I can go for it again if you want. Do one thing for me. Yeah. Do another one. Yeah. So keep this velocity, but when it comes to that snare roll in the middle, yeah. can okay. you give it some twat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Sav's been like hitting drums as hard as he can fully hit them for like approaching 20 years. Seeing him in like loads of pain recordings, like it's heavy, isn't it? It's awful seeing your mates in pain. Can't make a sleep record without being in hospital. I had my first meal last night in 48 hours. And it worked. I was so hungry. Hi, man. Are you right? Yeah, good. Any pain or sickness at the moment? Uh, quite a bit of pain. I feel really like um, really tight, sort of here and in my shoulder, and just feel really sore and like um, just tender. I don't think Sean wants me doing all this. Nah. I've had a no. bad vibe. Yeah, but that's not. He's not. He's not giving you that bad vibe. It's not. It's not a purposeful thing. It's just. You saw like Sean wasn't having a very good time on drums, on guitars. It felt like it got a bit worse. It just felt like wrong that we were trying to make the record in the like in the environment and the like the climate we were in. And I felt like Sean didn't like want to make it, like he said, wasn't in the right place to want to make it. So we just like, kind of collectively, just were like, the best thing to do is to, is to push pause on it. I think it's important that everyone talks about it, oh, it's the, that's the process, we want to document the process, if we're not documenting that, then we're kidding ourselves, really, about what it's been like. Oh, I want to cough so bad, but... <coughs> it just fucking wrecks. Matt's dead, Aaron's in America. So I was with his girlfriend in London. Loz has just been to America, gone. He's got his throat shit, it's just me. Holding it together, mate. That's it. I'm the last one standing. And I'm barely standing. No. Nova, bollocks. Don't, don't put your paw on the bollocks. Nova, come here. Have you ever been this quiet around recording time? No, never. It's so weird. It's the first time ever where the band's like so on and off between people. Don't be sitting on the floor, dude. Come a long way. <laughs> come on then. Play time! Good boss. Come on then. Sit. Sit down. Sit down. Good girl. Sit. Don't touch my strings though. No, 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 no. Ready? <laughs> How about now? Yeah, I'm ready now. <laughs> Come on, sit down, sit. You can, sit, sit, sit. Good girl, right. Sit down, you can stay Good here. girl. Is it? I didn't hear it then. I don't think he's there. No, I do. <laughs> to be honest. I can hear it! Let's go stand outside, get some. Shoot for work. See you in a bit. See you later. What are you doing? I'm 28, I've never had my heart broken before, so. I kind of had it coming at some point in my life, do you know what I mean? But fuck me, as soon as you experience it yourself, you, you get it. One of the reasons some of this happened is because I put so much time into the album, I weren't giving my girlfriend enough attention, like, at all. So actually, I had to take, like, three weeks off at studio after, after it had happened because every time I picked my guitar up, I'd start crying because I realised that every riff I was recording was, like, a reason why I weren't with her anymore. I, I didn't actually care about the album anymore, which is the first time that's ever happened to me in my life. This is literally all we know, the band thing, so all, everything gets... While she sleeps is always number one in, in our lives and we don't even mean to do it. It's just, it's just how we live now, do you know what I mean? And I think other lads have experienced it before. You realise you end up putting this, this entity while she sleeps before anything else. I had like four days, no word of a lie, not a, not a bite to eat. I, couldn't, I could not 
I can't even, I can't even, this is the only way I can describe it is that, imagine like 20 meters in front of you, like a circumference of this emotion that would just, I just, I can't even describe the, the weight it was putting on me. I couldn't, get, I, I had nowhere to go because obviously I'd not been kicked, kicked out of my house. I didn't want to go home. I went to my mum's house a few times, but that just made it worse because that's kind of where I started off anyway. Didn't want to go to the warehouse because I've been living there for like a month. It was horrible on my own. But yeah, man, just this, just this fucking thick feeling that just took over anything. Didn't want to speak to anyone. Every single day would just fucking cry my eyes out. And yeah, it took me four days to, and like, a big achievement for me, man. I'd wake up and I'd have a slice of toast for the day. And that was it. And that was like, fucking hell. That's a good achievement. I was like slowly getting somewhere. Dude, it's fucking, it's apps. I've never experienced it before. Like, but dude, it's fucking <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> it's absolutely un unbelievably painful. like six good ideas oh it just that seems to be the one that's making the most noise at the minute so we don't rush anything since you've been here we've only, we've only been on one part and we probably haven't even got it yet Greg's Probably loads of bands who would have taken any of these takes to go on, but we've always had this is Sean all, all hear stuff that Carl won't hear and Carl hear stuff that Sean won't hear and they both have an insane standard to like how how precise you want it to be. Just that realisation where I'm like, how does how does it take three days to record three minutes of your time, don't it? Yeah, that's so good. Thinking about Matt's Greg sign in my head. <laughs> um, it's, it's been really hard to be honest, you know. A long distance relationship for five years. Um, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but we've managed to make it work because we had no other choice. You know, I always keep her ear as well. I cut my face out. So every time the sun's in my eyes, she's staring at me. It's not really How many tuk is there? Is it three or four? Three. Three. We've been a band for 12 years, we're like five best friends and we see each other every day. I see, I see them more than I do my family and my wife, you know. Like, we just, we work well together and we always have. With how we do things, we need to be around each other. We need to like, we need that energy and we'll come up with something that seems just so minuscule at the time and, but then it'll develop into like an album concept, you know, like, like the album art or the idea for a song, like a simple riff can just turn into a whole song. And it's like, if we didn't turn up, 
in that same space, if we wasn't there in that same space together, it wouldn't be the same. We just need each other. To, we just need to be around each other, I think. And uh, I think that's why we've been a band as long as we have. Yeah. <laughs> you get them fucking lines straight, boy. I've seen your other ones. Yeah, I've seen all yours as well. Yeah, I've seen your lines. Me, 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 me. I told you before when I when I had throat surgery that first time and I didn't drink I didn't drink any caffeine or any fizzy pop or anything like that for months and months and I went home and my stepdad made me an espresso. That's like coke. That's like cocaine. I've seen Sean and Tom lay down after a cup of tea before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've lost my I've lost my sunglasses. That's Helpful. <laughs> oh yeah. Sweet. I've had to learn a, a new technique going into a, straight going into a record. So it's like it's a pretty tricky thing to do anyway. As soon as you like the moment you grasp something or get the edge of it to take it straight onto an album. So we've decided to just go full throttle <laughs> uh, vocals again. Which is like, I don't know, it's, it's just getting a bit scary. Like, we didn't want to tell anybody I was going into surgery again because we just, we don't want anyone to have any preconceptions going into a new album. Okay. Let's go to fall. <laughs> we came for nothing but the truth, we won't fall. Fuck. I reckon you can do twice as much as that. All right. We came for nothing but the truth. Right, let's, let's have a let's have a bash down. See why. Get in the trap. Hey 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 hey! I'll pretty much probably go at this until I'm a mute. <laughs> you know, like this, there's nothing else that I've wanted to do in my life as much as this, and I've got an opportunity to do it. So I've been told that I could probably have. It's not ideal, but I could probably have another load of these surgeries, and it'd be all right. But it's it's, up, it's down to me to try and learn what my body wants, you know, and that. That's what I'll do. And like I said, I'll, I'll be in this band until I don't have a voice and I can't do it anymore, you know what I mean? So. We'll see right through it all, I believe. It's the way we treat each other comes round. Tone and register are great, so we just need to get in that pocket. We came for nothing but the truth, we won't fall For your excuses, each disguise gets some more obvious See right through it all That's right. That's some fucking artwork, wouldn't it Hot fucking this. this what about the pack top behind his nose oh, The video concept! What's it gonna be? Oh, Tell us! Oh, Dad! <laughs> right, let's do one more. Can I be lifting things while you do yeah, that? Oh, you are fucking kidding, aren't you? I'll bow it light, so then I'll break him. <laughs> For real. Someone choose to broke him, and then not put them back. He'd have been corner. What specifically is it that's stressful? Everything, Ross. I don't know. I don't know how to put a finger on it. The pressure of it all. Is this being distributed the same way that you are we was? Yeah, they, don't, they just don't get any easier or more relaxed. You are we fucked me as well. 
I just don't, I don't like these days. I, I always have uh, I remember it on you, I remember the date record came out, I literally just like put fucking Helios on and just fucking did one. I hated it. I hate, like, I don't actually like that. The release, I enjoy the build up of the project and working on it and all that shit. Why do I even care what people think? I shouldn't, I really shouldn't, do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, we can't help it, but like, it's that bit of it which drives me so mad. Like, that like posting it and then waiting for this reaction and like I have to care about it a bit and I can't turn it off but at the same time none of that matters do you know what I mean I just I just wish I could just put it online give it like give it away and then not worry about it all but it's that thing of months and months we've been in there since February and then within one day everything that all that stuff gets shrunk down into two seconds in your instagram feed or whatever like i said i like i love that bit of it i love the project i don't know if i really like the end as much i know i know i don't it's weird it's like that thing it's like you want to get there but when you get there you realize the bit you enjoyed was the the trip Did you do that many hats in it or it? When do your nerves start to settle on this process? When it's done, it's going to be great when it's when it's right, do you know what I mean? When it's finished. Well, if you do accents on each one. Let me just play it myself. Pretty much every album I'll like, <clears throat> I'll have waves of doubt, waves of confidence, like all, like constantly up and down. And me astray this time. No. It's, it's, sure that's the minor. Sounds right to me, that. Yeah, this is me. Lead me astray this time. You're doing the top harmony octave below. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's right. For me, at this point, I can probably clock on now that I've been working on this album for over two years, so you're coming into the three-year point. That'll carry through while you're doing the higher. I have to be there for drums, I have to be there for bass, I have to be there for guitars, vocals, mixing, mastering, I have to be there for the whole, and writing, so I have to actually watch all of it, which is what I want to do. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, yeah. But there is a point, it's like, with anything in it, you're just like, okay, it's enough's enough now, I kind of want to get it finished. And... Tell me, tell me to... Tell me to sit, set you fall. Tell me to stop. Tell me to sit, set you fraud. Fraud. Have you got done for fraud? Tell me to sit, set you free. Really Just comp the fucking back bollocks off it. Oh yeah, we all said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck That's it. mental, but they didn't even take all yours out. No, or they two, left something they else took, in, they did they? They took two thirds out and did the dangerous thing, which is rupture it. Yeah. Sent me home, sent me home with sepsis, basically. So, nice. like, I just started dying at home and then went yellow, the others went blue. And I was like, I was Someone's just nose hair probably fell in it and then I they sewed it up or something. soaking in my bed in sweat and I was like, <laughs> I don't feel like this is going great. Right. And then I went back in and they were just like, can we take you straight to scan, please? Literally, as soon as I got to a &E, because they were like, are you okay? And then they went, they just scanned me and were just like, yeah, you got to go straight back into surgery. I went back in, then I got draining me for a week. I just <sighs> rotted in Donny Hospital for a week. Even. Feeling better now, though? Yeah. But it housed all his creativity and so now he's shit at everything. <laughs> yeah, that was so it. the appendix had all the, all the stuff in it. Now the, <laughs> that was it. I'm like, now I'm like, Useless guys, Welsh now. Album title, album cover. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Basically, my goal is to design something really minimalist, but that still like has a character. I basically don't want it to t say anything to you in terms of like a direction, because that's the whole sort of like, I would defy the point in the title. What, so I'm not hanging? So I'm not? I could smell it. So I didn't go out, did I? You went I didn't out. go out, did I? I think I was like, Carl's car's still here. Yes. Where'd you go? Uh, I love pre-Friday Thursday. Hey, Carl. Hey, 
Are you all right? I'm fine. Oh, you fuck. What cobs are they? Did you get you and Sean Cobbs? Yeah, I did, yeah. They're not getting... Oh. No. You, you forgot I existed, didn't you? I'll go and get one, it's That's okay. Sean does. Yeah, you do as well. <laughs> oh, it's, you're both boozy. You both smell like spoons. <laughs> do you want me to phone a cob in? No, I'll... Oh, oh, I don't know if it really costs me. I hope you feel awful. <laughs> After all them sausage what sandwiches. What the fuck happened last night? So I've only been here since 7 a.m. Oh, God. I'm going to get you a cup. No, don't. Yeah, no, I'll have a sausage sandwich as it's, as it's coming back and all this. Even, you don't want to leave ours out too. I'll have a sausage sandwich, Raz. <laughs> <laughs> I blame Trent for all of this, to be honest. Could be worse, I guess. Yeah, you could have not got a car like me. <laughs> Really? I never believed that, you know, when people were like, oh my god, you think like booze? Until, until you're on the other side of it. Fucking hell. Already? <laughs> Already? <laughs> yes, Aaron, me and you, they got cobs without us, dude. What? Who got cobs? Carl. Carl forgot anyone else existed. <laughs> you my world, you are. I know, I know. So, me and you, as? Ledge. That's, that's brother of that. Where's my dog? I have no idea. No, no. Oh, oh. I'm gonna get that. Cheers, though. Oh, no. Hey! No! Oh my god, she ate the cob while you went doing a good deed for me as well. Come here. Now this is... This is not his bread. Come here. Come here. No, no. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come here. I mean, I'm really... No! Yeah. Naughty! No, I feel bad for doing that. Kind of like, like a bolognese. Fucks up here. I've just been watching this new. I watched this guy. What does he tell me? Season at every stage. Otherwise, really? I have a season at the end. No, nah, this guy was like, season at every stage. He's like, I would, I would, I would have been walked out of my kitchen if I didn't season at every stage. I mean, you guys get a bit judged because you can do it. This has been the record where we've. We've probably accepted that shit's different to when we were 18. There's been obviously so many times with with Loza's voice situation that it's been it's felt like close. That like flash of like shit. This could quite easily just like if Loz didn't want to put himself through that whole vocal surgery thing again and again and, and us being called cool to just like drop tools kind of thing and like that's a lot for everyone to be cool with we've kind of got an unspoken agreement in the band that it's almost like no one, none of us are stopping, none of us are leaving do you know what I mean? but then every now and again you're like it's probably, it definitely gets more fragile than that I think it, we just don't talk about it. It's that thing of just like, it's right there, but you're like... You think insensibly how long you think it's got? I don't know, I think, until we just, until we just hit that point where someone just goes like, I can't make another record for a bit. Which are like, I think this one's taught us a lot and each one is another massive realm of knowledge. There'll be that point where someone's just like, I need a bit, I need a minute before we do that again. 
or they'll be the opposite and we'll be like, let's make another echo, but maybe do it a different way, or like, I don't know, we've just got to see how we feel. Yeah. Oh, look and that is so much piss. I know, dude. Let's just go, can we go to just where the guitars are on their own? <laughs> Someone's just woke up. Hey, here he is. Shows you ring again, Harris. Get your ring out. <laughs> yes. Right. Never We're been, hoping you guys know us to make a decision faster. Mm. You guys, not only are we making the video, we're filming the making of the making of the video. The brief, yeah. which I touched in, oh, in that email, yeah. is, for in, this is in my opinion, yeah. I don't think I don't think we need to make a Four Walls in any way. I don't think it needs to be a classy, posh video. It needs to be posh, and but it needs to be loud. That video is like... A bit chill. It's fucking like, it's hey, cool, cool, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I think this one needs to be like, holy fucking shit, have you seen that video? Mm. Yeah. Like, I, think, I think to match like, the way... The song is, is. yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. The Got song's like, it. it's a break stuff by Limp Bizkit. It's that, yeah. like... In yeah. my head, it needs like a, quite a garish video. Is there any directive from label? No, nothing. Nothing. Uh, no. We're going to do whatever we want. Whatever yeah. we want. Yeah, whatever we want. Band, can you run doubles through it? Yeah. Fake band to the band performance area, please. Uh, we're just going to get you boys for one minute. This is Aaron. Hello, I'm Aaron. Are we going yet? Legend in the class. I think that's all right, that. That eye's a bit of shit. I reckon. To be honest, that eye's a bit shit too. I do eyes again. Ah, oh, could you explain the theme here? Well, no likes. You're depressed. That's what it is, isn't it? This big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So on that note. It'd be good, even if we had a few hospital beds, for the outro tomorrow. Oh my god, there's so many children here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'll... Yeah? So, you know, so let's like... Yeah, I'll aim to get as many as I can today. Sure. You do whatever you need to do here. Yeah. For the phone scene, should we have the teacher with an iPad? Yeah. Do, do we have one? I've got mine, yeah. Like an adult-sized phone. Yeah, well, maybe that'd make more sense if we, could, if we want to use the phones off. Yeah. And then he's like, he's showing them how to use it. In that sense, so they don't need to be on then, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be cool. Cool. Flash your sleeves, arts and crafts. <laughs> Tick. Tick. I'm in a, uh, the MP bar fight scene, this one, and the school bus scene, and obviously I'm going to be performing the whole time, you know. So you're beating Sean up in the school. Bus? I'm not beating Sean up. I'm a spectator. So are you just watching? Yeah, right I'm a, an innocent bystander, but do nothing about the situation. <laughs> Gotta get that emoji spot on, you know. Great work from kids. Great work. Oh, I'm wondering whether we give them the phones. I don't know. I don't know if this. And then just a little step forward. This might be better. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah I mean, that's for me, it, it seems a bit... I'm like, getting a bit of like... If a, it was all together and it was working, it'd be, I, I think maybe if they're on, the, like, get them to just do this. <laughs> Last one, cheers. Wow, proper dick. Good amount of board. <laughs> Bam, not so sure. good. What that was over there? Yeah. Light on Kim's wishes. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, take yeah. it. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Alright. Alright, everyone, show me your phones. No one's bringing down there. Thank you for all your children. I really appreciate it. Thank you, children. <laughs> Yeah. Are we not coming over here at all then? Uh, I think you should just stay. Yeah. I think just, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so quick. Yeah, yeah. Cool. We need to give people time. Let's get it going then. If it, yeah. we'll do yeah. one where we mix it. Yeah. So I think yes, yeah, I think you just stay on yeah. that ladder. Okay. And what do I do? <laughs> uh, Lord, I think you should be out of shot. Action! Throw a grenade and run in. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Action! So that this scene, while I'm telling you now, you're gonna cut back to the last time I was in hospital when it was legit. <laughs> uh, and this is where the idea for this scene came from because <laughs> the doctors were amazing, but there was too, there was not enough doctors and too many patients. And uh, obviously I had a lot of time to think about it. So that you can be doing cutaways <laughs> over this. You know what I mean? I'm here, I'm there. It's so short staffed. Last night there was like two nurses for 17 people. Back. No one gives a shit, oh, dude. Forgot, no one gives a, fuck, sorry, okay? oh, no one gives a fuck. Okay? No one gives a fuck. I wind it all back. Shut on up. It. Thank you. Shut so, up. Sorry, just to recap on that. <laughs> I didn't come up with it then. <laughs> I've seen it on telly and I've stole it. And grip, action, doctors, action! Doctors, move! Doctors, move! Doctors, move! Okay, it's cut there. Let's do it again. Matt was saying that the NHS like work with your band schedule to like fit you in. Yeah, I've just built like, I've been in there and that, that much for my fro that I've just built up a relationship with them, so I just call them and they see me straight away. They've always been pretty good with them, to be fair. And they know what you do? Yeah. They've like studied it, like the woman that I, that I work with is in Doncaster's like been to see like like arch enemy and shit. So like knows what she's on about. Which is helpful. Good afternoon, police communications, how can we help?
Hi, I'm just going to let you know about uh, like a promotional activity happening uh, on Devonshire Green today. There's a band who's going to be um, handing out some USB sticks and be sort of the dress in white, and white uh, like a hazmat costume. Um, so I just wanted to let you know in case anyone rang it in that it's that it's nothing to worry about. There'll be like there'll be fans around just getting USB sticks off him. Yeah, the band's called While She Sleeps. The hazmat suit's really warm. That's what I'll say about it. It just does not let any air through. I've been sitting there like, just, just cushy, just cushy, just cushy. Yeah. I don't know about this, this, this new hoodie. Oh yeah. Anti bullshit hoodie. Who the fucker is warm? What's your best hazmat voice? You want a USB pen? Oh, that's that's just wonderful. I'll give you one. Don't need to worry about that at all. What oh, a megabyte, Tommy! Yes. 128 megabytes for free. For free. Oh. Yeah. Shit. Well, they fucking acted fast. Lay low, bro. <laughs> Lay low, bro. The people are there. I'm. We're going in from the car park. That George is going to carry his own sign in. I think. You want to do it? Right. I'm, I've gone in car park at other end because yeah. they were going to see me unloading in this purple polo. Not cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. And then George is going to carry the sign. Hey, or... Stop here. We'll unload here. Yeah. 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 Uh, unload people. Because All right. Cool. <laughs> I've been here since 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> since 10? Yeah. Good effort. And uh, take it you're a massive fan. Definitely. I went to like four of the shows you on the UOE tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got there. <laughs> Like, seems to be doing their own thing these days. Hi! Into that ballroom if you like. I've read articles about bands before when I was younger, read, read these articles about bands saying, oh, it's really difficult and really tough. 
And at the time, I was, I, you know, when we got first picked up by a, a, a management or a, or a label or whatever, I was like, this, this is not tough. But as you get older and it turns into your life, that's when it gets tough, I think. The hold on to all the aspects, make sure it's like, like a well-oiled machine and like everyone's sort of chipping in, doing what they should be doing, you know? It turns into like a weird business that you never thought it would be. It's, it's easy to think that you just rock out and you, go, you turn up on stage and that's that, but it's not, it's like, it's a lifestyle choice. Especially for vocalists, you know? Like, what am I eating? What am I drinking? Where do I need to be? I can't go out to a bar and necessarily enjoy myself because my, my body's not built like that, it doesn't take it well. I know that through three, three lots of vocal surgery that I need to chill out. So, you know, often you can, it can be changing who you actually want to be or who you are to make sure you get a job done and not let your fans down and yourself down. So, yeah, it's just a, a full lifestyle choice is what it is. It's, it's, like, it's quite a big commitment when you think about it. Three albums, three throat surgeries. <laughs> yeah. How many more can you do? There's one way to find out. In terms of making it? In terms of making music and being a band. If we did anything differently, it'd probably fuck up the whole system, to be honest. Because for, what, four, four albums now and an EP, this is exactly how it's been. Yeah, we're just getting better, I hope. The process, I don't know, they're always a fucking, they're always a test, man. It does this to me because of it, because I care about it so much. If I tried to, exist without it, it'd be fucking wank. But it's so important that it ends up fucking destroying you as well. The number one thing we all wanted to do is just be in a band together. I always think, you ain't got that long to do this kind of stuff, you know? So it's just get it done while you can and enjoy it. But it's done come out its fucking troubles, you know? I'm doing everything I can. There'll be more albums and there'll probably be more throat problems. Just. <laughs> Just is what it is. Passion's never really died with the band at all. It's um, it's always it's always been the the fire that's been burning um, inside all of us. So I don't think it'll stop anytime soon. Mm. Whatever happens, isn't it? So what? So what? So what if it's fucking? So what if it's best album ever? So what if it's not? We had a laugh, didn't we?
I want to hear you sing. Yes.